What's going on today guys? Today we're in the garage and it's Tech Tip Tuesday and we're going to talk about battery draw. Have you ever had a vehicle that has sat for maybe a week, you get in it and the battery is stone dead, you can't figure out why? For those of you who don't know this little trick, I'm going to teach you a quick way to figure out what circuits draw in the juice. All you need is a test light and then you got to take and disconnect the positive side of the battery. I'm going to show you here on my side by side. I bought this thing brand new and since the day I bought it, if it sits for like three days, the battery's stone dead. Can't even turn on a light. So what you want to do is you come around and you're going to disconnect the positive cable of the battery. You want to take your alligator clip off your test light and hook it to the positive side of the battery. Take the other end of the test light and touch it to your cable. If you notice, the light's on very dim. So that tells me that the system is drawing juice somewhere. Well, I already know where right now because I turned the key on in order to show you guys how this works. Let me shut the key off. The key off, the light shuts off because now there's no draw. What I did find wrong with this is this vehicle is equipped with a winch. So I disconnected the battery cable that runs to the winch solenoid. I ended up finding out inside the winch solenoid there's a little computer in there, a little computer board box in there and it was drawing juice just sitting here. So obviously I need a new solenoid. Well, because we can't just make a regular solenoid anymore, we gotta cake it up and put all the electronic fancy stuff on it. So now I gotta buy one. It's been doing this since it was brand new. Proof shows right here in the pudding that even brand new stuff all the time is not the greatest. You have problems with it. Now you can do this to your muscle car or any vehicle. You can even do this to a motorcycle. I've had Harleys come in same problem, ended up finding out the little hydraulic pressure switch for the brake light was shortened out, but not enough to burn the wires, not enough to turn on a tail light, but enough for that was calling juice and the bike would sit for a week and it would die. So you'd be surprised what it is. I've also had it to where it was the alternator. I disconnected the alternator and the draw went away. The alternator charged and did its job, but when you shut the key off, it was still drawing juice out of the battery. The best way to find out what circuit it is that you have a problem with is after you make sure everything in the vehicle is off, all your lights, your keys in your pocket and everything you can think of, is start pulling fuses out of the panel one at a time until that light shuts off. That's going to tell you what circuit it is. Could be a dome light circuit, could be a brake light circuit, who knows. But at least it will get you in the right path to figure out why your batteries go dead after about a week. It's very frustrating. It's Saturday, you want to hop in your cruiser, and you want to go out for a ride, and you're looking for the battery charger. So here's a quick and simple way for you to try to figure it out on your own and save yourself a whole lot of aggravation. If you guys like what I got to say, tune to my YouTube page, In The Garage. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you know, all the goodies. Peace out, boys. Have a great week.